guys, Johnny here. I'm going to try to replicate what it would have been like to defend yourself against a big, mean bear during the 19th century with a ball and cap revolver. I had to do a little disclaimer. It's sad, but it's true. I don't recommend arming yourself and going into big bear territory with a ball and cap revolver. It's not recommended. But there are people eating Tide Pods for Christ's sake, so I had to give a disclaimer on this. <laughs> okay, without further ado, I introduce to you Pipey Bear. What this is, is a foam mat to replicate thick skin, some wet magazines to repl replicate uh, muscle in this thick water main pipe to represent thick hardened bone like a shoulder or something. And I know, I know before people get their panties in a wad, it's not a real bear. But I cannot replicate shooting a bear with a real bear with a ball and cap revolver unless I'm high on meth or completely lost my mind. Anyway, so to show you how thick this is, I could not find my tape measure. So I got a 45 Colt brass. So it's really thick. So I'm going to back off 10 yards. I think that's uh, about where bear safety would come in effect and see how we do. So I'm going to old school this and hold it with one hand instead of putting it in my um, tripod because I did not have the camera direction set up right. I'm about 10 yards away. I'm using my Remington because in the 1800s I wouldn't have had a Ruger Old Army. I know this one's not a historic replica because of the modern sight, but that's close enough. It's loaded with a uh, a modern day shooter's charge of 25 grains of Graf's 3F in a 457 round ball. Let's see if I can hit the target. And um, if it doesn't go through, I'll try a more 19th century version with as much powder as I can fit under the ball. Pipey Bear! Die! Oop, that wouldn't have been good. Misfire. Always safe loading your guns if you prepare to use them for front of fence. Okay, let's go see if we made it through, Pipey Bear. <laughs> well, let your conscience be your guess, be your God, but. Pipey Bear didn't survive this, if that means anything to you, so. And that was just a 25 grain charge, it was not even a heavy charge. To show you absolute carnage. A ball and cap revolver can do. After seeing that, I don't know, I might feel okay using a ball and cap revolver as a bear defense up close. Here's something pretty cool. So, I found one of the balls. 
It has really <laughs> flattened out. I don't have my tape measure, but to give you a size comparison, there's a root beer top, bottle top. That's how much it opened up <laughs> after going through all that. That's pretty awesome. Also, there's pieces of pop there thrown out as far as five feet away. So, my conclusion is